We've got some breaking news for you, and I'm very sorry to tell you that we've just learned that retired General Colin Powell has died of COVID-19 complications. The former Secretary of State and one-time Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff was 84 years old. Powell was a groundbreaking figure in Washington, the son of Jamaican immigrants, who rose to become the first black man to hold those two positions. President George H.W. Bush chose Powell to be the nation's top general, and he held that position during the first Gulf War. A decade later, President George W. Bush appointed him to be Secretary of State. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more. Nancy Boyer, I was very, very sorry. To we just got this news. And, Gail, it really is a blow and will be here in Washington. Very keenly felt here is a man who was so highly respected by both sides and really strove to have an independent voice here in Washington, well-respected around the country. In a statement from his family this morning, we are learning that he passed away this morning due to complications from COVID-19. They say he was fully vaccinated. They thank the medical staff at Walter to Reed National Medical Center for caring treatment. So that is apparently where he was. They say they have lost a remarkable and loving husband, father, grandfather, and a great American, an American who, as you mentioned, Gail, uh, served at the highest ranks of this government, at the Pentagon, considered running for president, and at times was urged to do that by uh, not just Democrats, but Republicans as well, who held him in such high esteem. Nancy, thank you so much. You're so right to point out that he was really, as we all know, widely respected on both sides of the aisle. Our thoughts go to his wife, of course. He has two sons and a daughter and grandchildren. This was just, it just goes to show you how you wake up, you think it's going to be a normal day, and then you get news like this that just sort of knocks you off center a little bit. But Colin Powell, we're just learning dead at the age of 84 from complications of COVID. Of course, we'll have more on this story throughout the day.